Good morning, this is Lorraine and I'm going to work with you right now on the first card in our December card series for 2010. Um, so here we go, I'm going to take the camera off me, you don't need to look at me, and we'll look at what we're going to do. Sorry about that adjustment period. Okay, so this is the card that we're going to make. It's what I call my ornament card for 2010. This ornament stamp series came out in last year, Christmas time, 2009, and it's still very, very popular. And the stamp set goes along with a punch that punches out the shape, so you don't have to worry about cutting around the shape making your car Christmas card making very easy. <coughs> so the things we're going to need for this project, let me leave that laying there, uh, are Pacific Point cardstock cut um, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter to make our card look and the fold is the left front of your card. And you're also going to need a square of marina uh, mist that's three and a half inch square. And then you're going to need uh, a scrap of Whisper White, uh, approximately two by six. I think that one's two by eight, but whatever scraps you got on hand. And then a piece of Whisper White that's cut um, one and a quarter by uh, three and a half closely to that to make the punched ribbon. Alright, so those are the basic card supplies you're going to need. You're also going to need um, a ribbon. Um, this is Pacific Point, um, or excuse me, Marina Mist. Um, Taffeta ribbon, that's one eighth inch wide. And we're going to cut three lengths of that. One that's uh, one and a half inch for this lower ornament, one that's two and three quarters inch for, for this ornament that drops below it, and then two eight inch pieces of the ribbon to tie the bows that adorn each of the ornaments. <coughs> and then you're going to need uh, a brad from our glimmer brads. that has that marina mist color to it. Okay. So after you've folded your card, then you want to punch your uh, one, and a <coughs> one and a quarter by three and a half inch piece of Whisper White using the uh, scallop ribbon punch. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to show you the finished product. So the scallop ribbon punch creates a ribbon shape that looks like this. But when you apply it to your three and a half inch square, you're only going to show a portion of the ribbon like that. You're going to attach it using snail adhesive. And then if there's I'm not always a precision cutter, and maybe you're not either, and so there's going to be on this one a little bit to trim off, but that's no biggie, so you'll do that. And then you can go ahead and place that on the front of your card about an inch from each the top and the bottom, and right on the edge there with the scallop trim going towards the inside. Next you're going to take your wider band, about 2 by 6 or 2 by 8 inch piece, scrap of Whisper White, and you're going to stamp the images. This is the stamp set that's called Delightful Decorations. It has four ornament chain options, this one for a gift tag, and then it has three options for decorations to add on to the ornaments. 
we're going to stamp the polka dotted ornament and the star that has the Merry Christmas on the Whisper White using Pacific Point Classic Ink. Classic Ink uh, from Stampin' Up! is a water-based ink. So it's easy to clean up, but it will run if you get it damp. Okay, we have those two images. And now we want to switch inks to Marina Mist Classic Ink and stamp the ornament with the decorative center. And we want to use the uh, dotted spiral for an accent. Well, actually, we didn't use that, did we? Never mind, but you could. That's an alternative. All right. <coughs> we decided to dress it up a little more with a snowflake instead. The snowflake was created using the Sizzix um, Merry Details. Uh, die. You can see that, and the snowflake that's from that little die. Okay, and the punched snowflake or the cut snowflake from using that die looks like this. Let me get it against the, the blue background so you can see it better. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that one's one we'll use as a decoration on this particular ornament. All right, the next thing you're going to do is punch out your ornaments circles. So this lovely ornament fits exactly over the top. And you can punch that out and punch the other ornament out. This makes very quick assembly. We're going to do this card and this would be a card that would lend itself to mass quantity production. This is, is your favorite for this Christmas season. I'm going to cut out the um, circle using our three-quarter inch circle punch. And that's the one that will go on the center of this card. And then as I said, the snowflake will go on the other one. And then you're going to use our paper piercing tool, Mat Pack. Mat Pack looks like this has three pieces and we're the only ones who sell the mat pack. This foam uh, is what allows you to poke through something and then the harder mat protects your surface so you don't put holes in your table. That's a good idea, don't you think? Alright, so we're going to place our snowflake and we're going to punch through both the snowflake and the ornament. And then we're going to insert our Shimmer brad like that, and then open the ends like so. Okay, and we're going to add our Merry Christmas using snail adhesive. To the center this one with the Mary looking upward. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to add dimensionals to the backs of these. Stamping up dimensionals. The only ones that have this particular depth of uh, dot for raising your work. There are other companies who do have dots to raise your work up and making it dimensional, but they are not um, as slender as ours. They pop it up way high, which may not be your desired effect. They come on a sheet like this, and they're adhesive on two sides. You peel them off, put 
come on, probably three or four is plenty for each of these ornaments. Okay. And then once you've placed them, then you're ready to peel off the back. One of the tips is to poke it with your fingernail so it tips up on the edges and then you can peel the backs off. Okay, you'll continue that with all six of the dimensionals or eight depending on how many you've made. And then you're going to position those, position the ornaments on your card just so. I'm going to put that cover back on this one for demonstration purposes. Okay, all right. So you're going to adhere those. I haven't adhered anything here because I may have to redo this video. Okay, there we go. Then you're going to add your ribbons. Well, I guess you better dry fit it. <laughs> I always tell people to do that too, and then there was I'm not doing it. So put your ribbons in place, and then dry fit your ornaments. See where they need to go. Okay, then you need to glue them down with the dimensionals. And then you're going to tie small bows using the 8 inch ribbons and I like the dual bunny ear method where you wrap it around one around one bow around the other bow loop around the other loop and then cinch it down and just play with it a little bit till you get you want kind of small bow loops and then once you get I get this is an extra length for it's easy to handle. Um, once you get the bow shape you like, then you can trim these ends off. Okay? You do that twice and then attach them to your card like that. And then you are done. Wasn't that a quick and easy card?